So let's say you've got zero dollars in GTA Online right now and you want to start making money in the game, preferably solo, that would be good. Well that's what this video is all about, or at least you hope that's what this video is about. That is what the video is about, don't worry. I understand there are more broke players than ever in GTA Online right now. Don't ask why they're broke, they don't want to talk about it. Anyway, so this will be from a beginner's point of view. You're just starting out, you don't have anything in the game whatsoever, and you need to stack that P. Well, I'll be giving you some quick tips here that anyone can do in the game. It's all solo. You don't need anyone to help you, and if anyone offers to help you, say no because you're an alpha male and you don't need any help. So, you're probably sick of watching me play with big balls here, so let's just cut right to the bananas. So you don't have a lot of stuff available to you, a lot of the stuff that can be used to make money fast, like an office, businesses, and other stuff like that. Now, the first thing I would recommend getting once you do start making money is an office. That opens up some other money-making opportunities, such as selling cargo and vehicle cargo. The cheapest one is $1 million. So the first thing I would recommend to start getting money is the treasure hunt. This will get you $250,000 once you've completed the whole thing, including the headshot challenge with the revolver. You just need to get 50 headshots with that gun. You will need to get the email, which should appear once you've been in a session for a while. Once you get the location, I would recommend following a guide on YouTube. I'll have one linked in the description that you can use. That should help you complete the treasure hunt faster. Now, if you want, you can try to get $50,000 before you begin the treasure hunt. This will allow you to register as a VIP, and now you can do VIP work. You can just do a few contact missions to get 50k. It shouldn't take long, and I'll have a video in the description which will be my top three missions to do for easy money. Some can be done at really low levels, some can be done at literally level one. Like I said, that video is in the description if you want to check it out. Now, the mission I'm doing here is one of the repo missions I mentioned. This one is called Sasquatched. This one is pretty easy to do, but like I said, once you've got the 50k, you can register as a VIP and do VIP work while you're doing the treasure hunt, so you can get extra money on the side and overall just have more money. The two VIP jobs I would recommend are Headhunter and Sightseer, those are the ones I do a lot. So at the end of the treasure hunt, you should now have at least 250k plus money you have from doing VIP work if you did that. Now, I just want to quickly say if this video is useful so far or you're enjoying this video, then please subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on if you want to see more of my future videos. But anyway, so you now have something else you can do to get another 250,000 smackaroonies. And it's pretty similar to the treasure hunt. You can hunt down bounties. You get $5,000 for each bounty if they're dead and 10,000 if they're alive. So if you want to get the most money possible, then I would say keep them alive. Then once you've completed all the bounties, you unlock the stone hatchet and you have to get 25 kills with it. Then you should get another 250k right there once you've done that. Again, you can do this and do VIP work on the side for some extra cash. And now another tip to get about $230,000 flight school. This one is harder than the others though. Some of the challenges might have you throwing your controller out of the window, getting a headshot with it on your neighbour in the process. So your first time completing flight school, if you get gold on all the challenges, you should get about 230k for that. And all these things combined, that's over 700k right there, plus any extra money you made from VIP work which will push you even closer to the million. So yeah, these were some quick tips to make money in GTA Online as a beginner. I know some of you might be starting over again and you might need to get some money. And some of you might just be starting out and you want to know how to get some easy money. If this is stuff that you haven't done before, then this is actually pretty useful and can get you some nice money. So I really hope this did help you out. Like I said, this was mainly for beginners who don't really have a lot of stuff. So I really hope this was helpful. If this video was useful or if you enjoyed it or if it helped you in any way, then please drop a like down below and also subscribe with post notifications turned on so you don't miss my future videos. Have a good rest of your day, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.